Alright, so as you already know, Sonic Frontiers had a big June as we're getting tons of news and tidbits through our IGN and other gaming outlets as they were playing the demo and giving their thoughts on the game. We saw a tiny bit of cyberspace and a decent amount of the first island in the open world. And now we are one week into July and well, it seems like they've forgotten that the game is coming out. <laughs> but you know, you know, at the end of the day, the, the, the Frontiers news recently has been dead. Okay, it's been mid. I haven't been bothered to talk about it. That's, that's the truth, okay? I tried to cover some mods to kind of break the gaps, but it seems people aren't really watching. So I don't know. I guess it's back to talking about Frontiers breadcrumbs because that's what people want to see. So we're going to get to all of this right now. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and hopefully 7,000 subscribers before Sonic Frontiers comes out. So there's a magazine called Famitsu in Japan and they usually share a lot of Sonic related information and in their latest issue we got a little bit of information. Now this article is from the 30th of June but it recently got an update so the article is called Sonic Frontiers seemingly has no wish, drop dash confirmed and development is 80% complete and the update says the latest issue of weekly Famitsu has shared new Sonic Frontiers screenshots viewable below. Further, the game's development progress is stated to be at 80%. Some of the screenshots are duplicates from previous press releases, but a decent chunk are new. Additionally, they are sourced from Guhu. And you can see the image here in Japanese. After five years since Sonic Forces, a new mainline Sonic game will be available soon. We hope you look forward to it. And then we see a bunch of screenshots, which a bunch of them we have seen before. I can't remember exactly which ones we've seen before. Well, I can. I just don't want to accidentally forget to show one of the new ones. But I believe this is a new one. The one with Sonic, like, staring at the whole environment like that. There's a few new screenshots. I mean, uh, it's not it's not much, okay? It's not much. But look, it's screenshots of Frontiers, and people want to see Frontiers, right? So, yeah. The article also also recaps things that we got from the cyberspace related Q&A from IGN because I don't think I made a separate video on that I think I just reacted to it on the stream but yeah the levels are around forces length so no more than two minutes most likely less if you're good there's multiple objectives and they lead to unlocking chaos emeralds there was one fully 2d level of course the person who played the game didn't see a single wisp which is believable because we haven't seen one yet and I'm sure she would have loved to show us that if it was in the game momentum's basically not in the game we know that there's a combo counter in the game and players get rewarded the longer they can string hits without getting damaged sonic loses 40 rings every time he gets hit he can hold a maximum of 400 rings and sonic enters a super blue boost that drastically heightens his speed this was mentioned again in the q a but we haven't seen this in gameplay at all so this second level of boost i'm looking forward to seeing how fast that is i'm guessing it's going to be like on leash levels of speed because the boost in front is right now is a more slower kind of boost a more colors-esque boost and the q a also confirmed the drop dash as we already talked about in the stream but now let's get on to this update from tails channel it says here a sonic frontiers premium figure by sega prize has been revealed and it's going to be 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches a decent size but it's not going to press anyone or anything like that i don't know it will be available at sega amusement facilities and it is set to release in november which seemingly confirms that frontier is coming in november right because there was some speculation whether they're going to push for the december like if they didn't have enough time but if the statue is coming out in november it's going to come out when there's a game for it to come out with right it makes logical sense and for some reason and they blacked out part of the image as if it was Naka blacking out Oshima san in, in that night's picture but someone else revealed it and it's basically those coco creatures so yeah i don't know why they felt like they had to hide that i mean we'd already seen it in the footage i mean it's sonic team right they like to withhold random shit right instead of just showing shit so i i, I don't question it anymore it's just, it's just it is what it is i guess these are the new wisps these new creatures they look like thomas the tank engine rejects but you know they're there i guess at least we don't have to absorb them like wisps so i I guess that's a w but yeah as i said like frontiers news has been dry recently it's basically it's been, it's been dry i don't have energy to talk about it because there's not really much to say that hasn't already been said right we know how i feel about the game right i've already said it multiple times graphics are very big selling point music sounds like it's gonna be decent sonic's movement is not horrible but lacking in momentum and the level design is also lacking in that too much automation the same shit i've already said right the only thing left is to really like see cyberspace like aside from us knowing that they're rehashing environments like i mean like seeing like a full level like none of this curated bullshit right like i need to remind people that we were seeing entire levels of forces around this period in 2017 like by july 2017 we had seen entire levels we'd seen classic sonic level we'd seen modern sonic levels and that was a much much shorter game right so if we were seeing levels back in like april 2017 
2017 for Forces for a November release, and we haven't seen more than 20 seconds of cyberspace. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit weird in my opinion. Like, if there really are seven cyberspace levels per island, and one of the people that played the game did say they ran into seven cyberspace levels, that means there's like 28 of them in the game, right? How have we not seen one full level yet? Like, you can't tell me they can't show one level. And it can't be because they're afraid that people are going to think it's mid, because at the end of the day, they showed us the open world, and the cyberspace is not going to be significantly better or worse than the open world. It's the same control, it's the same level designers. Like, I'm not at a point right now where I feel like one part of the game is going to be significantly better than the other, minus obviously the length. I don't know what their plan or strategy is for dishing out Frontiers news after this June period is over. Are they going to go quiet for July and then show up again in August, or are they just going to wait until fucking October to give us another month of news? I don't know what their strategy is because their strategies are always all over the place. Maybe it's going to be breadcrumb season for several months. Maybe they're going to show up in August. Maybe they're going to show up next week. I, I, don't, I really don't know, but I feel like in a whole month of revealing information, we should have seen at least one full cyberspace level, and we didn't, and that's a bit weird to me. We saw a decent amount of the open world gameplay. Only one island, which is fine. I mean, it's only June at that point, but if these levels are only two minutes long, we should have gotten like one full level gameplay. Like, remember Mania's build up, right? We were getting footage of levels, and I mean, even then, they would like withhold things. Like, they didn't want to show the Mean Bean boss in Mania because they didn't want to spoil that for people. I get that. That's fine. That was a pretty big reveal when I first saw Mean Bean in the game, like for the first time playing it. There were some pretty interesting things that they didn't want to reveal, but they were showing a good amount of gameplay of Mania. And I get that the open world is the focus of the game but again if there is 28 cyberspace levels i think showing one especially one that may be original if they have one of those would be a good selling point for the game give us an idea of what the level design is going to be like i mean i'm already convinced it's going to be like forces but i'd love to be proven wrong maybe it'll be a higher quality level but yeah only time will tell man let me know what you guys think about this little piece of news looks like we're definitely getting frontiers in november they're already teasing statues for the game like i, I made a video talking about frontiers potentially having microtransactions on like multiple tiers of the game and i believe this statue is probably gonna be some like highest tier kind of shit like this is the maximum tier it comes with this statue like the mania collector's edition kind of shit i don't know i could be wrong but i feel like they're definitely gearing up for some multi-tier bullshit like i think and this is a prediction so that's you know there's no actual evidence to back this but i'm thinking they're gonna do three tiers of frontiers right because they could do two they're not gonna do one there's gonna be a base version there'll be some kind of premium version that's at least two but i feel like there's gonna be a third one a really expensive one and maybe that statue will be in it we'll have to see but it'll be interesting to find out how far they want to go with the milking are you guys happy with the game so far do you think we should have seen more cyberspace in the entirety of june and of course a big shout out to all my channel members if you want to become a channel member you can click the join button next to the subscribe button but yeah make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell make sure to check out the nuns on the channel the link will be in the description but that's all i have to say right now so do me out